Okay, class, we're at the grand finale here. This is a. Uh, let me just say it's been a bit. It's been a pleasure lecturing to you from my household here. <laughs> uh, sorry to have to do this to you, but hopefully it'll save us some time uh, doing this and, and give us more time to uh, um, to review for the AP test when it gets to be April and May. Uh, that's kind of the whole purpose of doing this here. Was reviewing my hit list today on on my my YouTube videos, and I'm I'm excited that you know it seems like there's about 28 of you that have viewed these videos, and that's good. Uh, what's not good is that there are 80 of us. So that means a lot of us have not viewed these videos, and I don't know what you're going to do on the quiz tomorrow. But uh, maybe you're going to all view them tonight. I'll look at it. I'll look at it at midnight before I go to bed tonight and see if you guys have all looked at them. Hopefully have. Okay, the last section of our lecture notes is on the Chinese, the most picked on immigrants. And this kind of goes back, if you go back to, you know, the very first president, Rutherford B. Hayes, if you've got a chance to flip over to your notes here, and I'm looking at issues under Hayes that he vetoed the Chinese exclusion bill. So this, you know, there's a reason we call these cleanup notes, and that's just because when I developed this lecture series, there's a ton of stuff to talk about uh, in this chapter and so these are the things that when I when I got done I went back and I thought yeah I better touch on these things to make sure we covered everything uh, if there were a fifth issue <laughs> we know that the three main issues are one more time the three main issues are hard money versus paper money or species versus paper money silver versus gold so monetary currency is one of the issues of this political time period we know that civil service reform should we give a person a job because we like them and they're a buddy and we play cards with them? Or should we give them a job based on merit? In other words, they actually know what they're doing. So civil service reform is the second issue. The third issue is the tariff. Should we continue to collect exorbitant amounts of money uh, from foreign goods coming into our country? All right. We said that a fourth possible issue, if there were a fourth issue, would have been civil war pensions. Okay. And the fifth issue would be immigration, particularly the Chinese. Now, class, let's start with your lecture notes. The Chinese, why did they come to America in the first place? I want to say that they're part of the old wave of immigrants. We talked about in the first half of the 18th century, Germans came, Irish came, and Chinese came. Number one, they originally came for the gold rush. Like a lot of people from around the world came to San Francisco and California seeking their fortune in gold. And of course, that's in the, the 1850s. Uh, when they got here, a lot of them were not allowed to actually go out in the gold. But you could go, but you'd get the snot beat out of you if you're Chinese, because white people didn't want you stealing their gold. Um, so Chinese are going to get picked on from the very, very beginning. Um, about half of the Chinese that came for the gold rush would end up going home because, A, they didn't find gold and B, they got picked on out in the gold fields. Okay. But at the same time, uh, Congress began to pass laws to build transcontinental railroads. And the Chinese will be a huge part of building that first transcontinental railroad that's going to go from Nebraska all the way to San Francisco and connect the two parts of our country that existed there. So the second reason that Chinese came was to work on the railroad and make their fortune that way. Most of them that came, came as single men okay, or married men that left their families at home. Very, very few brought women with them. Later on, uh, there would be mail order brides and, and Chinese women would come out, uh, would be purchased or, or ordered from back home and would come out to meet their husband. And all they would have is a little photo idea of what their husband might look like, even if they lied about their picture as far as that goes. All right. So reason number one, they came, was for the gold rush. Reason number two, they came to work on the railroad. They came to make money. Um, again, about half of them returned to China, but for those who didn't, okay, they became cooks. They opened up laundry services to where they'd wash clothes. Some of them became domestic servants, right? So when I was growing up, and your parents will remember this. There was a TV show called Bonanza, and uh, with 
Mr. Cartwright, Ben Cartwright, his three boys, Haas, Little Joe, and Adam. Uh, but they had a household servant by the name of Hop Singh. Hop Singh, number one, seven, what's up, yo, Mr. Cartwright? Uh, so Hop Singh was, was pretty typical of something that a China person, Chinese person might do at that time. All right? Um, so that's how the Chinese got to America in the first place. And again, primarily in, uh, in there. Well, the nativist response. We know a nativist is a native-born American who is anti-immigration in sentiment. We've talked there was, has been a political party, the Know Nothing or the American Party, but that operated primarily on the East Coast out of New York, okay, where there was a lot of Irish and German immigrants working there. In California, there would be 75,000 Chinese in California by the 1860s, okay? which made up about one-tenth of the population of California. All right? uh, and what will rise up is a, a local party, so I wouldn't call this a national party, but it was a political party in California called the Working Man's Party of California, or better known as the Kearneyites. Now, the reason they're called Kearneyites is because their leader was an Irishman by the name of Dennis Kearney, and that's spelled K-E-A-R-N-Y. Um, and these guys would, uh, you know, they're basically a bunch of thugs that would go around and beat up Chinese guys. You know, Chinese gentlemen at the time had long ponytails called cues, and they would either A, cut those off, beat them up, or they might tie two Chinese guys together by their cue and beat on them after that. They were just, you know... But they did influence Congress to pass the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. And so I went under the Working Man's Party, I would put that it's led by Dennis Kearney, that they're called Kearneyites, and that they uh, intimidated Chinese through violence, and they influenced Congress, they lobbied Congress, and got Congress to pass the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882. Now, class, what's significant about that, and I would put four stars by that. In the theme of immigration, it's at a very, very important moment in our nation's history because for the first time, we're going to tell one particular group of immigrants, you can't come. You are not welcome in our country. And it will forbid any more Chinese to legally enter the United States as immigrants. Uh, it allowed the Chinese that were here to, to stay here, but but it would not accept any new um, Chinese immigrants. And I've, I've heard conflicting evidence on how long that lasted. So before I tell you in this lecture, I'm going to go ahead and look it up myself. But uh, uh, And obviously, Chinese not allowed to become citizens, could not become citizens of the United States. All right? So significant because it's the first time we've ever told a group of immigrants no. Secondly, significant because it shows the extreme, extreme prejudice against Chinese as immigrants. And, uh, you know, I got to think a lot of it is they are so different as the types of immigrants that they are. Uh, they're easy to spot, right? They don't look anything like, you know, an Italian guy might be able to be passed off as an American guy. Um, Irish, at least they're white type of a deal. But, but the Chinese were just so different in how they dressed, and how they acted, and uh, out of out, out of ignorance, right? They were they were just I, I called them the most hated immigrants at that time, and they will always be picked on the worst of any of the immigrants that come to America. All right. Um, okay. Well, that kind of completes that, and we'll see you in class tomorrow.